Hello everybody. Uh, this is a small tutorial on how to create a small animated screensaver. So if you go to the control panel, you go to appearance, screensaver, and the sort of thing you can create is this. It's just a nice small little animation. So to create this animation, we need to go into a free piece of software called Project Bullet. And I only discovered this yesterday, so yesterday, so I'm quite new to it. So I'm going to insert a level. And I'm just going to drag that down in there. Set the gradient details. If I double click on this, I'll change the color. to insert some text. Well, I've just restarted this to tidy this up a little bit. Um, let's just make a selection of this. Let's go with the animation effects. Um, Make it um, about a quick spin in. Okay. And this, maybe, I don't know, I'll try maybe to tremble it. Tremble it. Now, if you want to add, so we have an image. Reduce the opacity of that. So let's bring this down. Okay, I've done a few more tweaks to it now. So if you take a look at it now, just see what it looks like. I think that's a bit better now. So all we do now is having created that, we now simply go in and publish it. And the publishing actually creates the files that we need to use. It creates the, the file extension .swf, and that's the file that we're going to use for our screensaver. So I'll just stop this there for a second and take you to the next part. So once we've published it, it creates a number of files. So it normally documents in the Power Bullet. If you go down, you'll find the project. And the, the important file it creates is this project flash file here, this SWF extension file. And you can just you can have a little preview if you want. You have a look at this. Now, the next thing all you have to do is run the appropriate program um, which will grab this, this shockwave flash file and create a screensaver from it. So, 
The new program we need to run is called Instant Storm. It's a free program you can download and we'll create a new blank project. And the file that's the shop date file that we need to select is our project two file. And there it is. So we'll just include that there. We'll call it project two. And we'll publish it. And this will create the screensaver installer. Teach me. Yes, brilliant. So it's now compiling this program that's creating an executable file <coughs> which we can now run. So the screen save installer file has now been successfully generated. Okay, you come out of there, look for it to be modified before um, so it changes. There. Other documents. Here's this teach me exe file we created. So we now run this, and this is what creates the screen. Saver. This is what creates the screensaver. So okay, we'll continue that. And the screensaver has now been successfully installed. So we need to go over here and go to the control panel. And we've got the appearance, and we've got the screensaver. We should now have a project too, which we preview, and there we have it. We now have this really nice screensaver. So hopefully you found that of some use, and if you play with it, maybe you can do all sorts of fun things. Maybe if you do uh, post some of your examples back to me, let me see what you've created, it would be good. Okay, thank you for watching.